Hi right, guys, today I'm over here at uh, Cassone's RV. I had a um, a viewer reach out to me a few uh, about a month ago, asked me to take a look at their their bounder. They have an older bounder. Uh, have to get it. I'll put the date on it somewhere up here. Now they had um, expressed some some concern about some rippling that was taking place on the roof because it is a membrane roof. It was just uh, wrinkling at the edges. Honestly, it didn't look bad to me. I told him it's pretty. It is pretty common. It's probably not something they really had to worry about. But he did have some issues where he had a water leak beforehand. He wanted to make sure that it was taken care of. His bigger concern was that this RV has been really good for them. They've really enjoyed it. And uh, they've done some shopping around. And they've come to the conclusion that they're probably better off just keeping what they have and working with it. And so they wanted to put a new roof on. Now, I assured him that uh, as much as I would like to have helped them, I just did not have the time. And I was able to get with uh, the guys at Cassone's and they were going to help them out. Now, of course, they're just as backed up as, uh, as I am. So, uh, in between all my other work, I'm trying to help out. So today we're going to be taking a look at the roof. We're going to start ripping it apart and working through this problem. Now, this is a, uh, a TPO roof, but it's been coated. Uh, they are from out of state. And so they have to have it done. They're, they're dropping it off. We only have it for five days. And they need to get out of here on Friday. So it's Monday. And it's going to be a really tight fit. So I'm doing my best to help out the guys here. At the same time, knocking everything else out. Let's go take a look at it. What you got going over there, Micah? Oh, well, this nice roof coating they got here is just blocking Ch getting the rivets off. So... Got to start with cutting it off a little bit. <laughs> also got to punch the centers out because if you don't, they get gummed up inside of there and are even harder to get off in the end. So a little bit of a four step process on these rivets. Whew. Got a lot going on here. Let's take a look what's going on. And it's 2021. So this roof is almost 20 years old. And he was mostly, the owner was mostly concerned because it was wrinkling. And I think they decided they wanted to hold on to this one rather than invest in a whole new RV again. The roof feels really solid. As you can kind of see, it's all wrinkled right there. Now, it's not uncommon for these roofs to wrinkle. I told him it's probably not too big of a deal, but I think he wants to keep this in. He's really willing to start from a new roof. I don't think he wants that satellite on it. I don't think he wants this big plate where a satellite used to be. And I think he wants to make sure it's going to last another 10 years or so. So Mike is just over here taking off the uh, molding. But to most people this would look like a fine roof. He just wants to start over anew. So that's what the guys are going to be doing. Uh, like I said, I might check in every once in a while to help them out. But we got lots of lots of projects going on all at once. It's been a hectic spring. Well, hectic winter and spring. Well, this has been something of an ordeal, to say the very least, because of all the... Uh, coating that's been on this uh, we got it taken off you can kind of see it's textured so this is TPO it is the worst type of TPO if you're a RV tech this is felt back so they use fabric felt on the back that keeps it from stretching but it also uh, doesn't like to come off you can turn the entire deck into a, a dead Muppet because it's fuzzy everywhere and you just can't glue down on top of it. As you can see how fuzzy all that is. So that can add a lot of time and effort to this job. And Chad's not happy about it. It's very frustrating. Just do it already! This stuff is like uber thick, James. 
just cut into small strips, one inch wide. It'll come off nice. Oh, look how easy that came off. Yeah, some strips. Definitely all at once, it's not gonna work. But I think in strips will be good. It is kind of surprising that on a diesel. Huh? It's still kind of surprising on a diesel. They put a membrane roof. Smaller strips, Chad. Smaller strips? Yes. Maybe Chad has man strength. Smaller strips. I could do it, but... I well, I know. If I'll, you run don't wanna... I'll run out of steam real quick. Well, I mean, that's the first piece. That's where you have your most uh, strength. By the time you get back there, you're going to be like, uh, nope, going home. Oh. Chad's going to be so unhappy. What? Nothing? I don't know if you want to bring it out into the sun. Well, it's a lot of work. Use some heat. Little strips. And it's gonna hopefully come up. It's gonna take a lot of work. There's the hairs we're talking about right there. Chad's better at doing this than I am. Fire? Yeah. So yeah, needless to say, that's a tedious process. Uh, so it's TPO, and there's a coating on there. So It's got the standard roll-on coating right there. It doesn't permanently bond or anything, so it peels off pretty easily. It's just going to be temporary. Really. Maybe it does some weatherproofing, maybe it doesn't. It's mostly just to be a sunblock, but this TPO didn't look like it was in bad shape. If anything, it just had probably a little bit of staining, a little black staining. But yeah, Fleetwood and a few other manufacturers use that felt, this felt back stuff. And it does make the TPO a lot stronger, less susceptible to tearing, ballooning. But also, a miserable experience to take off. Well, that just looks awful right there. I gotta say, that's very exciting. Definitely it was, uh, it was leaking there. Not a lot, but a little bit. Lots and lots of fires and trips. Let me ask you a question, Chad. Shoot. Would you like to do this again? No. No? No. A full day ripping off our roof? Wasn't fun? No. Are you exhausted? Hurt. I'm sorry. That was a lot of work. The good news is you got it off. You salvaged it. You don't have to relaminate this thing. Because you couldn't. It has to be flush over there. Sure looks good. Get all the little chunks out. Did you just have here? I don't know. He probably tripped in shit. So you get to chemically strip this too. To get rid of uh, the, the rest of the filth or the uh, fleece that didn't stick on there. It's a fun process. It's not. Doesn't look fun. It's not. Oh, that makes sense then. Well, I would say luckily Chad and Micah put a lot of effort into uh, getting up as clean as possible yesterday. 
That's gross looking. None of us like using this uh, stripper. It's painful. There's a little bit of a water leak obviously right here, but the roof is not rotten. The owner's already checked it out, so we're pretty good there. Now perfection is not an achievable method here. You can see that there was a water leak right here too. But the roof itself is still in good shape. The Fleetwood made there is very similar to Winnebago's. That is to say, it's just a thin sheet of Luon foam, Luon again. But unlike Winnebago, there is actually framing in here. So you can actually see steel framing. And so we can't really overlay this. Otherwise, like Winnebago, it wouldn't be smooth right there. And to redeck this would be probably more than the value of the actual motorhome. Is what it, is what it would cost. Don't you think, Micah? I think so. This is how it's done, and it's going to work out great. Doing our best to scrape it down. But yeah, there's a really nice extruded aluminum right there. And so the uh, Luan fits just flush with the top of that. Well, the weather didn't want to co cooperate today. It's too windy to put the rubber down. Unless you have a paint booth. Then it takes a lot of maneuvering. Your, your, your Tetris skills are very good. Thank you. All right, I don't have a lot of time, let's do this. It's like, it's like the parachute. Remember the parachute? Remember in PE, the parachute? You remember. I remember. I remember. Well, it's not windy in here. Luckily, it's not hot right now. Well, what do you say? Glue it? Yeah. You know, I feel like I've been doing this a lot lately, guys. Building rubber roofs? Uh-huh. <laughs> to the app. Ooh. I get to dodge all the, all the holes. Remember that one? The gotch is coming up. I'm too busy doing the uh, important stuff. Whoever would have known brooms were so uh, versatile. Multi purpose tools. First time, nailed it. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Half of it's down. Now they'll reposition. I get to stay up here putting out glue. This feels boring every time. You know, this guy wants to take this tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, James. That's helpful. Oh. I want to let Chad catch up. Nice. Oh, Michael needs to catch up. Oh, a lot. There, you went too, there. You're good, awesome. You want him to cut the hole right now? Almost done. It just gets to cure overnight. Turn on the baking lights, right? Yeah. That's actually why we did it in here. A little added heat. We're having an unbearably cold day today here in Arizona. You know, I'm gonna say it didn't turn out too bad for all the uh, all the gunk that was, that was there. all the gunk that was on there. You guys put a lot of effort into making it look pretty good. Thanks. They gotta let Micah work out some wrinkles over there. This weather just hasn't worked out for us, has it? No. But it's looking good. Did you already get the side on? No, no sides on yet. Oh. Nice. Rear, cap, rear caps on, camera, skylight vents. All you gotta do is solar, awning, side.
side rails. Yeah, get those front ones on first. That's it. Well, I guess we're doing good, huh? Shall we? I drilled out a lot of them over there. Why don't I put them all in? We'll put another one in. Because this is riveted together, and I don't like this. Which one you want, James? Tell uh, me. That one right there. I don't think I do that one. Oh. Ooh, that's a nice rivet gun you got there. I'd get one of those if I were you. Yeah, you should. <laughs> This one's definitely mine now. You're so good replacing the gasket, Micah. Thank you, thank you. This is an essential part of a roof job right here. Such an easy job, so difficult. Uh, you gonna put it on? No. Uh-oh, not there. Oh my god. You put it on while I take it off. Oh, take it off. Sure is looking pretty good up here. If only you'd go a little faster. It's a joke. Only. Only. It's a lot of solar. It's a good amount of solar there. Looks good. So there it is. 2003 Bounder Diesel. It's a very interesting floor plan. Customer unit, I wouldn't take you through there, but I can understand why they want to keep it and just put a new roof on. <laughs> well, we kind of have a race going here. Yeah, we got a race against the sky. I think we're going to win. Dark. It never rains in Arizona. Did you know that? Unless you're going to put a roof on. Only if you're doing a roof in a, in a very time uh, sensitive manner. Sure's a nice rivet gun. Getting down to the wire here. Well, that's a pretty difficult rubber to cut underneath. It's very deep. You got something to cut back there still. Oh, well, I don't want to cut that until it's not full still for the last couple rivets. You're so smart. Well, it was a rush, but I think we got it. Let's take a look. Alright, we eliminated quite a bit, so no longer has the uh, crank-up antenna, the KVH big dome plate that was on the roof, the satellite dish, the crank-up satellite dish, removed one of the solar panels and then put the other three right there. Chad's just doing one last uh, ceiling over there. Thought we're looking good. Might be a few drops that you see. Can't decide if it's raining or not. Just the last little bit to do. Now that had the uh, TPO felt back or fleece back TPO membrane that was it's very difficult to get off. Luckily the deck was decent shape and we didn't have to uh, redeck that one. Look at that one last time. So we upgraded, I guess it's technically an upgrade from TPO to rubber, EPDM. We had a world in which getting parts wasn't a problem. Maybe we could have put something else on. But even this one was hard to locate. But hopefully, good for another 10, 15 years. All right, Chad? Yep. Yep. He said yep. Did Micah say yes? Yep. See? It's got to be true. So there's a 2003 Bounder diesel pusher that I didn't have time to do, but ended up doing anyways, at least helping out. Thanks a lot guys. That was a that was a rough one. No matter what you do, you can't make them happy. Well you know you know there's a word for those people. Huh? You know what they're called? Karen's? Chads. <laughs> Chads also have big trucks. One, one is not enough. One isn't satisfied, Chad. He's at two. They both got me red, though, too. 
The skateboard method is not the OSHA approved method. <laughs> I still can't believe my wife didn't believe me. <laughs> no? Uh -uh. Did she finally look it up? No, I don't think so. No. I think, she, I, think well, I lied to her all the time. Uh huh. Yeah, stupid things. I don't make it just for fun. And I think she just thought that was one of those things. People know me from the internet. I have no idea who came up with that, by the way. <laughs> what? I don't know. Someone started calling me bad chat on your, uh, on your comments. Everybody is upset when I make a video without you. I mean, nobody complains about Micah not being in it. Ah. Oh, 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 what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> well, you don't have to be his hat before 11 o'clock, Micah. Oh, uh, uh, damn. Uh, right there. Somebody didn't cut it. I blame that guy uh, holding the camera. He's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a good idea of taking your time on it. Yes, that's not alone. I know that one that we did where we had to strip for three days. Turned out really nice? Yeah, but it was three days of stripping. And like 20 gallons of strip, like 40 chemical birds later. Not again. Never yeah. again. Well, that's why we did it this method. Well, I guess we, you. I was there for some of it. I helped develop it. I, I helped. I was there for moral support. You know, I had somebody tell me that it's not hard to take a front cap off. It doesn't hey. take. It doesn't take any time at all. Those guys are liars. They always never take a front cap off. <laughs> I think I said that. A discovery. It says discovery. I don't remember anymore. Is this a bounder or a discovery? What's that? Is this a bounder or a discovery? Bounder. All right.